and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a haul as Callie and Wilcox had a humongous sale on and I decided to get a few bits that I needed and also I've kind of wanted a little bit. Um, so firstly, if you've followed my channel for a while or have seen these videos, I have been doing marker art on canvas paper for a while and I use uh, alcohol markers um, to create pro portraits of famous people like Norman Reedus etc and recently I ran out of that canvas paper and that's why I haven't really been doing any videos like that as I haven't I haven't had the supplies <laughs> and so the canvas roll I usually get off eBay because it's quite expensive as a big roll of canvas paper and I had a look at the price of it on Colleen Wilcox and surprisingly on sale it was cheaper than eBay obviously on sale you'd think it would be cheap but a lot of the time canvas paper is quite expensive especially pre-primed and so I didn't expect it to be cheaper at all and it was a couple of pounds cheaper than eBay and so I got that so that's what this big roll is here and um, it is primed like I said and it is five meters so um, get ready for some marker art coming up in the not too distant future so that's what that is and um, it came it was about 23 pounds if anyone's wondering I think their sale is still on when this video should be out but I'm not 100% sure and <laughs> um, secondly and thirdly I suppose these are just some essential these are just some essentials I needed some glue it's a little bit smaller tube than I thought it was going to be but it'll do for now until I can get something a bit bigger um, and I'll visualize it in a shop this time and <laughs> um, um, next is some gesso I'm currently filming a video before I started filming this one that required gesso and I didn't actually have any and so I had to do a homemade kind of thing it worked fine but I just thought it'd be handy to have some actual gesso in so that these two were around two three pounds nothing too expensive um, I didn't want to go overboard with it with money because you know it was meant to just be a, a quick impulsive buy and um, I suppose I should mention these the uh, Callum Wilcox if you ordered if you your order came to over 40 or 50 pounds I'm not sure which um, you got a free set of Da Vinci watercolor brushes so this comes with a uh, number four flat and two round head brushes number eight and number five the flat head, I won't show it because I don't know whether it's in focus because my screen doesn't flip around. The flat doesn't look like the best of quality, it looks like something you'd buy in a pound shop or something like that. But the two rounds don't look too bad um, and I'll test these out in a moment. So the last two items I bought, like I said I didn't buy a ton, um, they were just kind of big ticket items, especially with the canvas paper. The last two items both by Windsor and Newton and both something I've been wanting for a while and so I took the opportunity whilst this sale was on. So firstly, uh, again if you've been watching my videos you might notice that I do um, inking with my glass dip pen is my favourite thing to ink with and I've been doing birds and on those birds I always add, I always add a touch of colour and so but I usually use my De La Roni FW acrylic ink and the acrylic ink actually dries really quickly and because my dip pen is quite expensive I really I really go fast when I'm on these coloured bits and I want to take my time to make sure I'm not ruining the artwork that I'm creating and so I actually have a little Winsor & Newton um, water based like drawing ink sort of thing but in bright green and I really love it I love the little pot it comes in it's just a really cute little little ink and I really enjoy it and so when I saw Callum Wilcox had some sales on this sort of thing I obviously went to investigate one of the sets was out of stock but it wasn't the end of the world because that, that had the colour I already had, had in and um, the second set, I can't remember what the, the set it was actually called, was this. So it was marked down to £14 from over, like close to 30 I think it's usual prices, I'm not sure. Um, but it was down to £14 and I thought, you know, why not, I've got a nice range of colours here. I think it was the lesser popular, um, the less popular uh, set, but this comes with canary yellow 
orange, scarlet, violet, blue, emerald, nut brown and black. So the black I wasn't too bothered about because obviously I think a lot of people who have inks have black ink, it's kind of a generic thing. But I thought those colours were a nice range, um, but it's not your usual colours. Uh, and I just love the little boxes, they have little art on them and then the ink itself is just in the cutest little little paw. It's just adorable, I just love it. And the, the inks are so vibrant. Um, and so I'll try these out uh, after I've done the face cam. I'll you know, revert to my usual overhead and you know talk through how good they are in a moment. So that's that. And then lastly, again, like I say, a Windsor Newton item. A lot of YouTubers recently have been reviewing the Winsor Newton pigment markers, which are not like alcohol markers, which I'm used to. So Winsor Newton recently bought out Letraset, who do pro markers and flex markers, um, and rebranded it all, etc. And you know, did marketing for all of that. And in the process of doing that, they actually released these pigment markers. I'm not actually aware what they are. Um, whether they're a kind of a paint-based marker or something, I'm not 100% sure. But I, th I've really liked the look of them and wanted to kind of get myself a set. So when I saw a 12-piece set for 10 pounds, which I think is an amazing deal, I think it was like 80% off or something ridiculous like that. I just couldn't resist. <laughs> um, neither could my mum because she asked me to get her a set as well. So um, that's what I got. And look at the look at the box. It's just so professional. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. And the colours are Lemon Yellow, Windsor Orange, Scarlet, Mauve, Violet Deep Blue, Black, White Blender, Emerald, Burnt Umber, Thalo Teal Light, Toner Grey 2 and Rose. So after this sleeve is pulled off, the box, oh, oh, the box looks like this, very smart. And then inside the box, Oh, just look at that, it's just perfectly arranged and everything. I'm, I'm really impressed and I'm glad I bought these and I kind of wish, and I don't think they did, so please don't tell me if they did because I'm going to kick myself for not buying them, but I don't think they did more than one set of colours, like they don't, didn't do another set of 12 of different colours, otherwise I probably would have gotten two, two or three sets because, you know, I just think Especially when you're trying out a new marker, you want a good range of colours that blend. And I was a bit um, annoyed that it, it didn't come with a clear blender, not just a white blender, because I was watching some videos and, you know, it would have been a handy kind of colour to have. So, that is this portion of the video over looking at my face. Um, so, I'll go over to the overhead cam in a second and try out some of the supplies and tell you what my thoughts are so yeah I'll do that see you in a second alrighty then so I thought I would try the drawing inks out first and kind of create a little um, color chart for both my drawing inks and my pigment markers so these are all the drawing inks in their beautiful boxes <laughs> so I think this is just some random paper I got in a scroller box or something but if we do two colour charts on half of this paper so I'm gonna test out the brushes as well there's no point testing out canvas paper canvas paper is the same as any paper isn't it <laughs> okay so we'll use this one that I don't think looks this is what I was talking about it kind of doesn't look like the best of quality brush it's kind of I don't know, just doesn't. These two, on the other hand, look a little bit better. Um, so I might not use those at the moment. I'm just going to use this one, I think, just to do these inks. So I'll get these out of the boxes so you can kind of see the colors. I'll put them on the side. Might be a bit of glare from my uh, ring light, but these are kind of the colors, how they're looking. So they're very, I love how clear they look. They look like they almost wouldn't create those colours. Um, but so far, they're looking like... Wow, this one's leaked. Oh, we've got a leakage. It's not good. Um, right. 
Okay, I'm gonna leave that one in the box because I don't wanna get purple ink absolutely everywhere. Um, let's have a look. There is a blue, that's got a little bit, oh, it's just purple. There's the blue. You can't see this very well, I can, I'm, I am aware. So that's the emerald, it looks a little bit similar to my emerald green. Unfortunately, I chucked the box for my emerald green. That's the nut brown, and then I'm not gonna open the blacks. The black is a generic color. So let's have a look at these. Okay, so. I think the orange is slightly leaked as well. Great. Okay, so let's try. Oh, that's very difficult. Let's try yellow first. Listen. So, yellow. Yeah, I would say that is canary yellow. <laughs> Can't really say much about that. It's very bright. Um, yeah, that's nice. I like that colour. It's a very nice colour. Okay. Um, Next, my fingers are absolutely covered in that per that that violet or whatever um, colour it is, and it's going everywhere. Okay, so that's yellow. Um, let's go on to orange. Nope, Freddy, come on, off you get, off you get, cheeky, good boy. Ooh, these are really difficult to get off. That's the orange. Okay. Wow. 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 I would say this is more vermilion. It's got a bit of, a bit more of a ready tone to it than orange. Like usually orange is kind of a bog standard middle of the range colour. Um yeah, that's nice though. Nice. Very nice. I'm gonna tighten these. Oh, okay. Maybe not that much. Um, make sure I keep these upright is going to be the lesson I learn here. <laughs> um, okay. And this is Scarlet. This will be a bit more pink. Red. See, this this is why this set wasn't um, as desirable as the other one. The other one had your bog standard like red, blah blah blah. So this one was a bit more different. Like it doesn't have a normal red in it, which uh, it won't. It's not going to deal to my, you know, needs as much as it could do. But um, you know, it's art supplies are art supplies, and I will use them. <laughs> Either way, so I'm not going to open this file. I'm just going to take some of the colour from the outside, I think, because I don't want to um, open it. It's ruined the packaging, it's not very nice, but that's the colour there. That's a beautiful colour. It's a bluey, it's a more of a blue um, purple. Um, yeah, that's nice. Very nice. Okay, put that back in the box. Uh, what's next? Blue. Okay, that's a nice. That's a nice blue. So that's a uh, that that orange is kind of dried more orange as well. That's a nice blue. Yeah, so they are a lot more out there, these colours. Um, but they can always be used. So nut brown, this is one colour that I was thinking would be a very vital colour when you are doing kind of wildlife and birds, etc. So I thought this wouldn't be the end of the world. Um, so yeah, it's just a nice browny colour. 
perfect for birds actually and animals. Oh, you can't see. Yeah, so that's nice. And then obviously, of course, there's black as well. Um, yeah, didn't I have a green? Oh, yeah, I've got a green. Hold on. <laughs> Thought I had a green. So I do, like I say, I have a bright green already. So I'm interested to see what this green comes out like. Ah, yeah, it's a nice deeper green. So that's good. I've got two different greens there, which again, a wildlife -y kind of colours, so that's good. Uh, just splash water everywhere. Okay, so that's those inks. So I'll zoom, zoom out. So I'll do the marker. I'll do the markers here. Shove that to one side. Okay. So. Yeah, that brush wasn't the best of quality, to be honest. Um, but again, it's not the end of the world. Right, so on to these markers. So I'll just um, do a quick swab um, and, ex and tell you the colors. So, okay, I it harder to get out of the packaging than I thought. So this is this is lemon yellow. Very nice. It's kind of it lays on thick. Doesn't it smells more like paint as well. Um, not that I'm saying it is paint, but yeah. Anyway. I'm just gonna pop a bunch of these out so I'm not faffing around. Okay, next is Windsor Orange. And then Scarlet. Yeah, it's kind of a drier marker. Very dry. This is, I think it was Mauve. Next is Violet Deep Blue and Black. It's good that it comes with a black. It's always an essential colour, isn't it? Uh, then this is the white. This boasts to be able to go over black paper definitely goes over a black marker. Look at that. Wow, that's good. Look. Wow, look at that. That's incredible. So that's just a, um, that's a white. So it's, it's kind of like, um, it is kind of like paint. It does lay on thick. Um, this is emerald. This is burnt umber. I actually haven't done much research, so I'm not sure whether you can refill these or what, what the deal is. I don't think you can refill them, but please let me know in the comments if you know otherwise. Um, but yeah, I haven't really much done much de detail, done much research. So this is the Thalo Teal Light. The toner grey two. And the rose. So that's kind of a very vast range of colours. So I'll do a bit of a blend. So what two colours look similar? We'll do the two greens and the blue and the purple maybe. So apparently you can blend these quite easily. Um, kind of well apparently the colourless uh, blender is the best at that sort of thing oh. 
you can't see. Yeah, but look at that. They do they do blend very well. You're not seeing it in this light in the right light really, but yeah, they blend. They definitely blend. Um let's try Apparently they blend best um, on their special marker paper which is super smooth. I do have some pro marker paper which I might try these on at a, a later date. Um, let's try blending a colour out. So apparently you can lift the colour off almost. I might have left that a bit too long to dry. But yeah, can you see how that's lightened that colour? So that's a lot lighter because I put that white down first. Um, and apparently if you've lift, put colour on there, you can easily clean it off with a few strokes. So yeah, it's definitely something to play around with. Like I say, I haven't done much research into these, but um, they feel like they'd be quite good and they might lend to my marker art on canvas paper a bit better if they're a bit more painty type pigment um, but yeah and I, I like the inks they're a vast range of colours um, I think I'll have to try and find some niche especially for this pink it's kind of a weird colour that but um, definitely find some colours some colours some art to do with these and I'm glad I bought them and it's yeah uh, anyway I don't know what I'm saying I'm waffling now so thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and might consider going to get these supplies and if you use these supplies please drop me a comment in the comments below and you know tell me what you think of them and whether you think they're actually a really really good um, uh, piece of equipment piece of equipment medium whatever you want to call it and um, just just have a conversation with me and I'd, I'd like to hear more about them if you if you want to um, and also give me a thumbs up if you did like this video and subscribe if you're new to this channel as there's plenty more to come so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video